So I want to talk about North Carolina football recruiting and how it relates to what we typically discuss with sleeping giant programs. Mac Brown, over the weekend, secured a commitment from the number three overall 247 sports recruit, Travis Shaw, defensive lineman, number one defensive lineman in the country. And I wanted to kind of go through the history of North Carolina, just the recent history, and then what has happened since Mac Brown has taken over, and kind of equate that to these sleeping giant programs that we always talk about where if you just get the in-state recruiting headed in the right direction, why people value certain jobs over other ones, even in a globalistic society where you can recruit kids from California to Alabama or kids from Washington to Ohio State, even though that is going on, and it will continue to do so, getting the homegrown talent can totally rebuild a football program, and that's exactly what's happening in North Carolina. If you look back, going to go through some of these years, it may seem a little dull, but I'm getting to a point. 2014, North Carolina got five of the top 25 kids in the state. They got the number one guy, and they had two top 10 guys. Finished number 30 in national recruiting. 2015, they got six of the top 25, the number two overall player in the state, and two of the top 10 guys in the state. Finished number 28 in recruiting. 2016, they got five again of the top 25. Number 17 overall kid in the state was the highest ranked one. And then they got zero top 10 kids. They finished number 32 in the country in that one. 2017, they had five of the top 25. The number two overall kid in the state, four of the top 10. And they finished number 29 that season. Now, 2018, year right before Matt came in. 2018, they got four of the top 25. They got the number three overall kid in the state, two of the top 10. And they finished number 20 in the national recruiting rankings. Now, Mac Brown's first season, now didn't have a lot of time to build a staff, build a uh, recruiting profile, build relationships with these kids. 2019, five of the top 25 in the state, number two overall in the state, two of the top 10, they finished number 30. That's when it took off. 2020, they got nine of the state of North Carolina's top 25 kids, including number one and then five of the top 10 kids in the state. They finished number 13 in recruiting that year. 2021, got 12 of the top 25 kids in the state, number one overall in the state, and six of the top 10. They finished number 14 in the national recruiting rankings. And right now, 2022 rankings, they are number 13 overall nationally. They have gotten four of the top seven recruits from the state of North Carolina to commit, including number one, number three, and number four. This is how you awaken a sleeping giant. That's exactly what Mac Brown is doing. It's what he did when he was at Texas. He recruited all of the best players, and yes, there were misses. We get it. Johnny Manziel and all these other guys. Jameis Winston wanted to go play. Whatever. We get it. But what I'm saying is he understands at North Carolina, you just got to keep the kids at home. And it's the same thing at Maryland. You got to recruit the DMV. Now, I don't know that Mike Loxley is as good of a coach as Mac Brown, but what I'm saying, you keep the kids at home. There are programs that can be stable, that can win, that can continue to do so at a very high level for a long, long time. So long as you give the kids in your own state, in your own city, a reason to believe in the program, that's exactly what Mac Brown is doing with the North Carolina Tar Heels. Same thing can happen with Georgia Tech. And same thing happened really with Texas A&M, right? For whatever reason, they could not be built up, and Jimbo Fisher has kind of awoken a giant here. And... Kevin Sumlin, like he was able to do a little bit, but then he didn't win anything with it. So let's see exactly what happens with some of these sleeping giant programs going forward because Mac Brown has shown even, even in your mid-70s, so long as you give these kids in your state a reason to believe, they will show up in droves. 12 of the top 25 kids in the state signed with North Carolina last year. That is a massive, massive deal, especially when you've got Clemson coming in. You got Georgia coming in. You got Tennessee that used to always try and raid North Carolina for players. It, now Mac Brown is kind of, kind of doing a, a fence around the state. It's it's same thing with LSU, right? Nick Saban woke up the giant at LSU because there was always talent in Louisiana. This is going to be fun to see exactly what happens with Mac and those assistant coaches, the uh, the coordinators and whatnot, because they have done a fantastic job of keeping guys at home. Hey, they can keep it going? Absolutely. Absolutely.
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.